What's up guys, Matt Visual here, and I'm here to give you another dose of Guild Wars 2. As you know, reading that two days ago gave you the option to sign up for the Guild Wars 2 beta. I hope all you guys signed up, because I sure did. Now we have a post by Arena and it's Eric Flenham, where he talks about the improvements they're making in the beta. In this post, they have Randy Knapp explaining the improvements in the compass, Devin Carver discussing some of the additions they made in the open world content, John Peters talking about the changes they have made to the boons and conditions, and they're talking about the changes that they have made to the downed and defeated state. We also have another post by Mike Ferguson. He's going to be taking your questions about World vs. World on Reddit. Now, if you want to join in on it, it's going to be today, February 24th at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Now, in a blog post, he gives you information about the Siege Blueprints, World Bonuses, World v. World Waypoints, Map Population Cap, Day and Night Cycles, and some details on server transfers. Now, I want to give a summary of what he said on the server transfers. Alright, he says every character has their own home server. The home server is a server that you created your character on. You can still visit other servers and still keep your world bonuses, but not the bonus from the world you're visiting. If you decide to switch your home server, you will lose the bonus from that home server and the new server you're going to. Your world bonus will come back either at the next Battle of the Mist or they might extend the disqualifications to, you know, stop people from server hopping. Also, they haven't released a price yet, but you will have to pay for server transfers. But at least we can visit servers for free. At least I think so. And I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.